It's me, Stacy Yara, and this video is gonna change your life and save the world. Dun da da da! <laughs> like I say, you gotta see God through my eyes, and you'll be saying, "Wow, thanks, God! How'd you do that?" <laughs> so I know a secret about God that not that many people know. God is funny, funny, yes, and I have proof, proof, vision caught on camera that God wants us to know that He's funny. Think about it. If you met somebody, wouldn't you want them to say that you're the most funny, fun, interesting, amazing, fascinating, loving person they ever met? I think so. Well, guess what? So does God. <laughs> and if God can hear our thoughts, he sure he doesn't want to hear us moaning and groaning, whining and complaining. Wah, 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 wah. So I hope this story thrills you because it thrills me. <laughs> And then I go to church and we sing this song, God, you're holy, 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 and you're worthy, worthy, worthy. And then I say, God, you know I'm going to say you're funny, funny, funny. <laughs> and then the very next day, I'm driving on the freeway. And then this SUV pulls in front of me with a personalized license plate that says, use funny, use funny. Wow, God, thank you, God. So... I love that because he really, really wanted me to know that he's funny, funny, funny. That I know him as being funny, funny, funny. Wow! <laughs> so think about it. God, king and creator of the universe, goes through all that orchestration. He gets somebody to get the personalized license plate that says use funny. After, and then he gets a worship leader to pick the song so that Stacy Otto sings the song, You Are Funny, Funny, Funny. And then the very next day, he drives that car right in front of me so I could get confirmation with the picture. Thank you, God. I think that's the bestest license plate I ever got. <laughs> ah, and think about it. There's only one license plate in all of California, maybe even the country, and it drives right in front of me after I say God, you know, I think you're funny, funny, funny. Think about that. Think about that. That's so awesome. Thank you, God. So, uh, signs and wonders will follow those who believe. Or drive in front of them. <laughs> yes, God is funny. But most importantly, I want you to know God is holy. And we're supposed to be holy. So, um... We're supposed to love, honor, and obey God. So I want you to know that I'm not just some silly little girl with some silly little stories. No, I do have fun with God. I have so much fun with God that I want to share them with you so that you will fall in love with Him. And then when you fall in love with Him, you want to do whatever He tells you. Like, because we, we need to honor Him, to obey Him, to respect Him. So um, I fasted. I prayed. I've done lots and lots of crying. The reason why I have so much joy is because I've cried so much. I've cried out all the sad stuff, all the bad stuff. I've done inner healing, and we're constantly doing inner healing. Deliverance. Yes, there's such things as the devil, little demons, and negative ego spirits that speak negative stuff to you. So you just got to learn how to change your stinking thinking. Don't let them bother you. Um, but that's why I want you to to watch my story so that you'll fall in love with God. And then when you fall in love with them, you'll want to love, honor, and obey Him. Because when you, even if He makes you do something that you don't want to do or take away something from you that you're, you want to do but you really know you're not supposed to, it's always to make you better. It's always to bless you with something better or more. So I hope, uh, you know, I want you to keep watching because I just want you to fall in love with God. Because then you'll know how much he loves you and how much he really, really, really wants to enjoy heaven on earth with us. So keep watching because I have proof that God is funny, though. <laughs> so I have a friend, a Christian man, and he said, I want what you have. <laughs> and he meant my relationship with God because he just noticed that I had a great relationship with God. Because I do. And then not only that, I'm also a happiness and wellness coach. So not only can I build you a better body, help you lose body fat, help you sleep better, help you look better, you eat better, and you get closer to God and you get uh, emotionally and mentally better. That's the whole package right there. <laughs> so he started hanging around with me and he started seeing the games that we, W-H-E-E, -E, me and God, play. 
So, like, puzzles, hide and seek, and most importantly, he would see the Bible come alive because I always do everything, eyes to see, ears to hear, heart to feel, and most importantly, Bible verse to uh, confirm. So he would see how God would answer questions in the Bible. That made him want God more. So um, I love to live my life. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. But I love the message translation. You are blessed. When you get your inside world, your mind and your heart put right, then you see God on the outside world. So it, I love that I got to thrill him with God because he started getting thrilled by God, falling in love with God, and then being more obedient. <laughs> so he just saw that we just, God and I, we just like to play and pray, play and pray all day long. <laughs> So I'm so proud of my friend because he wanted to get closer to God. So he sought God. He sought his inner healing. He sought his deliverance. And yes, you ought to know, there is a hell and there is the devil, a.k.a. Satan. And he has evil spirits and uh, de demons that just do demonic chatter in your ear, telling you negative stuff constantly because their job is to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came so we could have life. So my friend has been a Christian longer than me, but he didn't really think that you could have demons until he experienced deliverance for himself. <laughs> but that was awesome because now he's free. Woohoo! Free of stuff that he didn't even know was bugging him. Only God knows that or the devil does too because he knows how he bugs you. But you have to get closer to God because he'll reveal to you all the times or, or you know, the times you've been hurt, the words spoken to you, word curses spoken to you over by your family, your friends, your mom, your dad, the traumatic events that the enemy can uh, bug you through. Because uh, then you could have fear, um, uh, generational curses. There's so much to the spiritual realm that lots of people don't know about. So you have to get closer to God because then he'll reveal to you because the best way to get healed is going to God because God wants us to be free 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 so we could say wee 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 so my friend calls me and he says Stacy Otto what's the best license plate you ever got and I said I don't know because everyone I get is like with perfect timing it goes perfect with the occasion and confirmation just like remember when you and Ray thought World War III was going to start and you said, Stacey Otta, World War III is going to start, but that's okay because I know martial arts. And Ray said, yeah, and I have guns. <laughs> and I said, sorry, boys, but thank you, but I'd rather have angels protecting me than you guys. <laughs> so then right after that, right after that, I'm driving and I see a personalized license plate that said, no weapons, no weapons. That was total confirmation that God says we're not going to need weapons, that he has angels protecting us. Like he says in Psalm 91, angels protecting us. So I don't know how God does it, but I love it. But I know it's more for you guys than me because I know I'm protected because I'm God's favorite. <laughs> Even though I'm not supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> but I just know. So then he says, well, think about it and tell me which license plate you think is the best and wins. And I said, okay. So the next day, I'm doing barefoot sprints with God on the grass. Because we love running barefoot sprints because it's healthy and it's fun. So then I heard God squeal with delight. He goes, we win. I go, we win, God? He's like, we win. And then I go, which one? And then he flashes in my eyes like a snapshot. The one that says, use funny. I go, use funny? Are you kidding me? Use funny is the best license plate out of all the ones you've ever given me so far. Like, because God has given me ones that say, like, live holy, um, a love, for, a heart for Jesus, Jesus saves, God's will. But he thinks use funny is the best one. Thank you, God. Woohoo! <laughs> So I called up my friend and I said, God says, we win. Ha ha. <laughs> and you want to know the license plate he thinks won was 666 PMS. <laughs> Duh, I don't think so. So, but just let that resonate in your heart and mind and soul that God, king and creator of the universe, thinks that the personalized license plate that says youth funny 
is the best one that he's given me so far. So if you watch my other videos and the future ones, he thinks you funny is the best one. Oh my gosh, that's because we have such an awesome God and he just wants us to enjoy life. Uh, laughing and having fun is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> a merry heart does uh, is like good medicine. You know what? I think this is one of my bestest videos in the whole world. <laughs> okay, so I have another story. So I was taking a prophetic class where you learn to hear from God better. And then the teacher says, we're going to listen to some worship music and then share with the class what you hear or what you saw. Like, because sometimes God, some people are seers, some people are sensors, some people are hearers. So then uh, people get up and they're giving these elaborate visions and like deep revelation and all this stuff. And then God goes, Stace, get up and say, yay, God. I go, are you kidding me, God? And he's like, Stace. And then the teacher goes, even if he gives you one or two words. And I'm like, oh, come on, God. But I felt dumb. But I just get up and I go, yay, God. <laughs> and everybody in the class goes, yay, God. <laughs> so then uh, think about it because when you're saying, yay, God, that means he's doing something awesome for you. All right? So then the next week we did the same thing. And then people are getting deep revelations, great visions. And then I go, God tells me, Stace, get up and say we. I go, are you kidding me, God? Come on, give me something deep, something better. He goes, just get up and say we. And I go, okay. So I get up and I go, we. <laughs> and then the whole class goes, we. Like we're, everybody was like super duper happy. So think about it. Those are some of the best words in our vocabulary our vocabulary yay and we like those are the best words <laughs> so like they say life is like a roller coaster so if you want it you can either hang on and be all scared or you can enjoy the ride Whee! <laughs> and i have another story oh i love all my stories i have so many stories to share so i was taking a leadership class at church and the pastor asked to say what would you want God to say at your eulogy? And most people were saying, well done, good and faithful servant. <laughs> Not me. Nope, nope, nope. I, wanted, I want God to say, Stacyana, I had the most fun with you. <laughs> and you know what's one of the first questions I'm going to ask when I get to heaven? It's, God, did you have fun? And he's going to say, of course, Stacyana, we had so much fun, even when we did chores. <laughs> And guess what? I think God gets bored when I'm sleeping. Why? Because he wakes me up in the middle of the night. He's like, Stace, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me, God, I'm sleeping. <laughs> but I don't care if he wakes me up. Because I love when he talks to me all the time. It's just fun, fun, fun. <laughs> and then this story is going to thrill you because it thrills me. So I was listening to a preacher on Sid Roth, and she was saying how her ministry was helping widows and orphans. And then she gave the Bible verse that God gave her for to do for her mission or her purpose for widows and orphans. And then God, before I could even ask him, because God knows my every thought before I even think it, and he knew I was going to ask him, and then he popped this Bible verse in my head. And God was gracious to Stace as he said. And God did for Stace as he promised. And Stace says, God has blessed me with laughter. <laughs> and all those who get the news will laugh with me. So God put that in my head for my ministry before I even asked him. Because he knew I was going to ask him. But that made me so happy because he's given me lots of Bible verses, especially about being healthy. And being healthy, lots of people don't really care about that or don't want to hear about that. But laughter, laughter, that's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> so I hope that thrills you because it thrills me. Out of all the Bible verses in the Bible, God put, popped that one in my head before I could even ask him because he knew I was going to ask him. So let that resonate in your heart. And when you get the news... Uh, sometimes I don't like to call it the good news or the gospel. I like to call it the supernaturally wonderful news. Because God is better than good. He's supernaturally wonderful. <laughs> and then I had to go 
find the use funny personalized license plate vision caught on camera so I could paste it in the video. Well, duh, Stacy Yana forgot to label it. So guess what I had to do? I had to go through my iPhoto library with 6,400 plus pictures. <laughs> Visions caught on camera. So um, at first I was spending all kinds of time, like hours, I spent hours looking through my pictures and the enemy, this is the enemy right here, right there, and that one right there. They like to chatter in my ear and tell me that I was dilly-dallying, lollygagging, I was wasting time or that I wasn't gonna find it. So um, I was telling God, God, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be wasting time or dilly-dallying and lollygagging. I'm sorry I didn't for, for, uh, find the picture. And then you know what God said? God said, Stace, I'm answering one of your prayers. Ha, 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 ha. Be quiet. So then, um, <laughs> so God said, I'm answering one of your prayers. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Because I've always told God, God, can you flash before my eyes all the times you said hi to me with your signs and wonders and visions caught on camera. Every time we said hi and we were playing puzzles and hide and seek, well, God was answering my prayer. So we spent hours just reminiscing like, oh, remember this one, God? Oh, this was a good one. Oh, yeah, you got me there, God. I don't know how you did it, but I love it. You're, it's fun for you, and it's fun for me. So we spent hours, but guess what? I still haven't found it. But I have a phone that has, like, over 4,000 pictures on it. <laughs> so guess what I get to do? I get to go spend more quality fun time with God, reminiscing about all the things he's already done for me. And guess what? He keeps giving me stuff every day. So you know what? I know how it feels in that Bible verse of John 21, 25 in the message version. Because I like the message version. It says, there are so many other things Jesus did. If, we were all, if they were all written down, each of them, one by one, I can't imagine a world big enough big enough to hold such a library of books. <laughs> well, I know how that feels because I have 6,400 plus pictures on my Mac and then I have 4,000 pictures on my phone. So guess what I get to do? I get to go have more fun with God <laughs> and he doesn't think it's a waste of time. Even in this busy, busy world, he doesn't think it's a waste of time. So I hope you get that many signs and wonders and visions. Or like I like to say, eyes to see, ears to hear, heart to feel, and Bible verse to confirm. So, ha ha, I get to go spend more time with God. <laughs> Yay, I found the use funny personalized license plate to paste in this video. Because God said that's the best one that he's ever given me so far. <laughs> that, um... That tells everybody that he's funny, funny, funny because God wants us to enjoy life with him. That's why he corrects us and guides us and sometimes spanks us because he really, really wants to enjoy life with us. So if he's telling you to stop doing something or start doing something or stop eating something or start eating something, psst, that's God. Because <laughs> he wants us to be happy and healthy so we can uh, enjoy life with him. Duh. And um, I, he delights me. I hope he delights you. And I want to keep delighting him. And I want to keep delighting you with my stories. Because then that's going to make you fall in love with God more. And the closer you get to him, the more fun you have. <laughs> so hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button. Leave a comment on how God is thrilling you and delighting you. And if God's not delighting you, then contact me because I'm a let's enjoy heaven on earth right now coach. And that's what I do. <laughs> and if there's a donate button or a way that you can donate to me, I would love that because I love sharing my stories with you. And I have so many, 6,400 plus. <laughs> And remember, the best weapon against the enemy, the little demons with the demonic chatter saying all the negative stuff, is to enjoy life and enjoy God. So I hope this video changed your life and we saved the world. Dun, da, da, da. And I hope the most abundant words in your vocabulary are, Wee! And, Yay, God! <laughs>